Welcome to How to Be Generous. We're looking at practical and effective ways that we can exercise generosity apart from money. So much of what we focus on when it comes to generosity is financially based, but there's actual other ways that you can become more generous just by using the resources that God has given you that aren't financially related. Here's something that you could do generously for someone that costs you absolutely nothing. Speak well to someone. Speak well to someone. This is one of my secret sauces when it comes to encouraging leaders and caring about people. Say positive and encouraging things to people. You take for granted that, oh, they're not going to care that I said this. It's not enough to tell somebody good job. You want to be well speaking to someone. You want to be specific and you want to compliment them about specific things things. And it really goes a long way. You have no idea what this does for people. There's been studies about this, about the amount of negative or the amount of good and positive things that people have to hear about themselves in order to offset one negative comment. We tend to rack up the negative comments and think about those things, and we need to reinforce with good, positive affirmations. Well, as a believer, you should be looking for ways to affirm those around you and being specific and caring about people by talking specifically and edifying them and encouraging them. It can change somebody's day or even somebody's life. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 11, the Apostle Paul says, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. He directly commands, he says, hey, keep doing this. Keep building each other up. When Christians come together, we should be the most affirming people to one another in the world. And it's unfortunate because we let so many opportunities by. And I know why you let them go by. You think it's going to be awkward, don't you? You think it's going to be weird when you say that thing to that person that you really appreciate about them. I'm telling you, listen, that is not of God. God wants you to say the encouraging thing now while there's time. You have no idea what that person is going through. I I told you about this before in previous devotions, but it bears repeating. And I think I'm going to bring this back. I did a challenge in a, a leadership group that I was in where for 30 days, we encouraged one person a day, a different person. So I made a list. And I sent encouraging text messages to people that I prayed about that God put on my heart in that moment. I would do my devotions and I'd be thinking about people and God would put this on my heart and I would send a message to them. Now, it was really specific, so I didn't copy and paste the same message every day, no. I was specifically thinking about that person, thinking about their family, thinking about the context of stuff that I knew about them, and I would be very direct about giving them an encouraging type of message. I cannot begin to tell you how effective that was in 30 days. Hearing people say that, oh, I really needed to hear this, and oh, I, this really helped me because I'm going through this discouraging time, and oh, man, I, I, I can't tell you what this means to me because I was thinking this about whatever, and you don't know what God's going to do, but you can be a person that is generous and lavish in caring about others by using your words for good. 